So what do we mean when we talk about the greatest generation? Well, history is a discipline, and that discipline is the field for historians. Historians are part of that discipline. Now, one historian is Tom Brokaw, well-known journalist and broadcaster Tom Brokaw, and he wrote the book, The Greatest Generation, in, I believe, 19, uh, 1998, The Greatest Generation. So history is a discipline, and it's made up of theories or theses. So every historian, no matter how subtly and sometimes not so subtly, when they do a work of history, when they complete a work of history, that work will con contain a thesis or an argument. So even Tom Brokaw's work at The Greatest Generation contains a thesis or an argument. So his argument, his thesis is that the generation of Americans who grew up during the Depression and fought in World War II were the greatest generation of Americans. There, of course, there's always a generation every 35 to 40 years is a generation. We have Generation X, Generation Y, the Millennial Generation. So were, that's his argument or his discussion, <clears throat> were the Americans who fought in World War II the greatest generation. And so that's what um, the book, The Greatest Generation, is all about. And that's an interesting discussion for us to have as historians. And if we look at um, this phenomenon, this idea, this thesis, if we were to search where it's mentioned in Google Books, we can see around 1998, and it becomes very, very popular over the years. It increasingly becomes increasingly popular, this idea of a greatest generation. Of course, the great irony of this is that as the gen that generation started to die off, they become recognized as the greatest. It's something of a tragedy for historians that if that was the case, that this generation wasn't recognized earlier. Here in 2016, um, that generation has died off quite significantly, and we see story after story of World War II veterans dying. And so we can, but as historians, we can see their history, oral histories and so forth, and interviews with them are quite common. And here's one website, the digitalnc.org, The Greatest Generation Speaks. And so we can come across interviews of these members of these generations, those who fought in the Pacific, those who fought in the European theater, those who, who worked on the home front, those who lived through World War II. We can see a lot of oral history and we have a lot of resources around them. But this, taking a step back though, it's not just about their story, it's also about this thesis, this phenomenon. It really is a phenomenon, this idea of the greatest generation. Just like a fashion would catch people's attention, just like a trend, a musical trend, a fashion trend, a movie trend. This became a very popular trend from 1998, as we can see in that graph again, from 1998 up to today. And so there was, the book came out in 1998, and people start talking about the generation. Another book came out, Flags of Our Fathers, was very popular by a guy called James Bradley, again, honoring this generation, paying tribute to them. And then, of course, the movie Saving Private Ryan, which was about D-Day and the soldiers that fought in D-Day, was very, very popular. Other movies came out, um, the Band of Brothers TV series, followed up by a TV series called The Pacific, and movie, books such as James Bradley's Flags of Our Fathers, that was made into a movie as well. So this idea of the greatest generation was very popular. And as historians, we want to recognize that as a trend. Where all of a sudden, this generation started getting honored by historians and people started paying very close attention to it. But as historians, we might want to criticize it as well. We want to critique it and say, hmm, is that really the greatest generation? What about the generations before, the generations since? And is worshiping that generation a little over the top? And isn't it ironic or is it a tragedy that as this generation dies off, that then they get honored, as opposed to being honored at other points in history? 